what's going on guys in this video i'm going to be sharing how to make a shopify reselling website just like mine right here this is where i sell all of my vendors for all of my products like as you guys can see the all supplier bundles airpods spider hoodies cologne you guys got the discord receipt generator lv bracelet shoes stanley cup rolexes and the list just goes on and on with all of the popular and trending reselling products so if you guys are wondering how to actually make a reselling site just like this to sell your products or if you want to get into selling vendors then this video is going to be the entire step by step let's get right into it the very first thing you're going to do is head over to shopify.com and you're going to go to start for free you're going to click that and then you're going to have to create an account i already have one and this is mine right here but if you don't have one you're going to click add an account you're just going to enter your email and then create an account as soon as you guys create an account you're going to be brought to this page right here and it's going to be the main Shopify dashboard where everything is. You're going to go to the left tab over here where it says home, orders, products, and all that. And you're going to go to online store. You're going to click that. And then down here, you're going to click customize where it shows theme library. And this is going to be your default page when you have no store and you just created an account. Over here, it's going to say Zach Sells. That's because that's what my website is named. But you guys are going to create your own name and be able to customize everything. So in here, you guys can literally just customize everything by clicking on it. And then everything on the right is where you guys mess with it. So you guys can mess with the text, customize everything. You guys can delete it, add different things. And yeah, so here going to be the default page your featured products right now you guys are not going to have any products here so all of this is going to be default these are all the products i have that i just mentioned and show you guys earlier the bundle bag bundle all the vendors i have babe chrome parts cologne denim tier eric emmanuel essentials you guys are going to have no products here this is just going to be the default website and what you're going to have to do first is actually go out of here top left hit exit you guys are going to go over to products and this is where you create a product i already have all of mine here so they will pop up right here but what you guys are going to do is go to the top right where it says add product click that and then you're going to create a product so for the title what i did is let's do for example airpods you guys are going to do type that in airpods vendor just like that you don't need to do a description but if you want to type in a short description add the photo what i did for my photos is i just paid a simple graphic designer like 20 dollars, and he came up with all of these photos but if you don't have the money or don't want to pay a graphic designer to do it i was just too lazy so i did that you guys can make them yourself so to make them yourself literally just go to the website canva.com or you can do it with AI, but this is the best website that me and everybody else uses. And then you simply just do a background and create an image. So look up purple, black background or whatever color you wanna do. Do the background, you're gonna get a image, like a PNG image of a hoodie or AirPods, or these are like a gift box or the Discord logo. You're gonna get a PNG image remove the background and then you're going to put it onto a purple background using canva once again if you don't want to do it pay somebody or just figure out how to do it yourself and when you guys go to make a product you're going to add the picture here for media category don't touch this it's going to automatically do a category for the price i do my vendors at 20 you guys can do them at 10 10 is a popular price some people do it at five some people do more but put the price i normally do 20 so we're going to put 20 dollars here and as you guys can see it automatically does a category in ear headphones and headphones so you guys don't have to touch that for inventory quantity it's going to say inventory tracked you, you guys are going to keep that but for shipping, where it says physical product, you're going to turn that off because it's not a physical product. It's a vendor. If you guys are selling physical products, then keep that on. And it's going to be physical product. You guys don't have to touch the weight or anything. It's going to automatically do that. Variance, you guys don't need to do any variance and nothing else. You guys do not have to touch anything on the right, like type, vendor, collections, tag. Don't touch any of that. But make sure the status says active so people can actually buy it. After you're gonna click save, I'm discarding it because I already have it. And as you guys can see, the vendor will pop up here. So here's one of my examples, puffer vendors. 
You guys got the image, puffer vendors, automatic category, price $20. And here's what it will look like. And on the store, let's go to puffer vendors. Somewhere on here, right here. This is how it looks. People are going to click on it. This is how it looks. They're going to hit add to cart and it will add to the cart over here. So yeah, that's exactly what you do. You're going to create a product, create a mall. And then once you create the product, you're going to go back to online store over here. You guys are going to customize. And this is what your store will look like default once again. And then you're just going to add it to the featured products. So you literally just click it over here where it says collection. You're literally just going to add it to products. And that is how you add your products here. Customize all of your store. And yeah, so it actually looks good and not like the default one. So now we're going to go to my store so I can actually show you guys exactly everything I have. Also, if you guys don't want to figure it out and customize your store and you guys don't know how to do it at all, you can literally just copy mine. Or if you want to buy my theme file, I will sell my store for $100. So if you want to completely copy this store that you see right here, give me $100. Contact me on Instagram at 856Zach or Discord Zempty underscore. Pay me $100 and I'll give you my exact store or figure out how to do it yourself. So at the top, it is horizontal ticker. This is what shows my 40% off all suppliers bundle instant delivery and it keeps this moving and ticking. So people see this. Um, on the left where it says add section, you're just going to click that and then you're going to search horizontal ticker. So horizontal, see it'll automatically pop up. Don't even got to type it in. You guys are going to click that and it's going to add it to the left. And my text, you're just going to add the text yourself. So see how it says it? You guys can click this and then on the right side is where you edit it. So enter whatever text you want, you know? Under here, we have the instant delivery. We have the announcement bar. We have Zach sells. This, this is a header. So just add a section, search up header. That's all you guys got to do for this rich text section divider. Search that up, add it text, text box, type in whatever you want. Here's where all my products are feature collection. Add all of your products here. The products we just went over and how to create them. You will put them here. So I have a ton of different products, a ton of vendors. And if you guys don't have vendors, you guys can actually buy them from my site. And you will need vendors because how are you going to actually sell and have something behind them? Because, like, what are they buying? You know what I'm saying? So you're going to need a vendor so that when they buy it, they get an, a vendor sent to their email. So now we're going to get to that step. Once somebody actually buys the product, what's going to happen next? Because you're going to need to send the vendor to their email and actually deliver the product and service that they're buying. So... We're going to go out to exit. We're going to download an app. Now, what you're going to need is digital downloads under apps. So you're going to go to this search bar, search digital downloads. If you do not have it, you're going to need to go to the Shopify app store and download it. Once you download it, it will pop up. Now, digital downloads will send a file and an email to the customer after they buy your products. So this is what you need to send the vendor or to send a tracking link if you're selling physical products. What you're going to do is go to all of these products that are listed and you're going to click add digital files. And then you're just going to add, click this, it's going to show all of your files. And what I like to do is I just open up a plain document like you see right here. So you're going to click new text document you're going to name it vendor whatever vendor you do and what i like to do is it's going to pop up this and i just do like vendor and then it'll be the link right here so they'll click the link and then i'll do like dm me on instagram if not working typed it wrong <laughs> doing it with one hand and then i'll put my instagram so i'll do the link i'll do the instagram and then i'll do the discord down here so they can also join my discord and then i'll save this file 
we're going to go back here and you add the file right here, right? And then fulfillment is going to be automatic. So we don't have any file, but it's going to be either automatic or manual. And you're going to change it to automatic, meaning every time somebody purchases from your website, it will automatically send them an email with the vendor link or the tracking number for the product, right? So this is a little example of what it looks like. Um, it will send them an email like your downloads are ready. This is my site, Zach Resells. Hey, their name. And then it'll say, thank you for your purchase. Here are your downloads. They bought the cologne vendors. So download link right here. They click the link and they get the vendors. So create a website. Where's our website? Create a website, add your products for sale. Somebody buys one of your products, it sends them the email just like this. And that is exactly how to create a reselling website on Shopify and automate your fulfillment. And then people, they will go to your website, they will buy the vendors, they will buy the products. And just like this, here's all the people buying products from the vendors and that's how to create a reselling website. If this video helped you, please leave a thumbs up. This was a ton of sauce that people will charge thousands of dollars for, for totally free. Um, if you guys need any help, follow and DM me on Instagram at 856Zach, or you can join this Discord with over 14,000 people. Link below in the description.